In question number five, we're told a sequence of numbers, a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, and so on, is defined by a sub one is equal to three, a sub n plus one is equal to two a sub n minus c, where n is equal to or greater than one, where c is a constant. In part a, we're asked to write down an expression in terms of c for a sub two. The question carries one mark. If we consider now when n is equal to one, if we sub this in, one plus one is two, so we'll have a sub 2 is going to be equal to two lots of a sub 1 minus c. I've simply now substituted in n is equal to 1. So we can say a sub 2 will be two lots of a sub 1, which we know is 3. So we'll have two lots of 3 minus c. So we can say now that a sub 2 is going to be 6 minus c. So that's now an expression for a sub 2 in terms of c. In part b, we need to show that a sub 3 is equal to 12 minus 3c. The question carries two marks. If we now take n to be equal to 2, sub in this in, we'll have a sub 3 is going to be equal to 2 lots of a sub 2 minus c. We have our expression for a sub 2, so we can say that a sub 3 will be 2 lots of 6 minus c minus the c. This gives us now a sub 3 is going to be 12 minus 2c minus c, therefore now a sub 3 will be 12 minus 3c as required. It says then, given that the sum from i equals 1 to 4 of a sub i is equal to or greater than 23, in part c, find the range of values of c. The question carries four marks. We can say now that the sum from i equals 1 to 4 of a sub i will be equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4. We're simply subbing in the values and then summing them. So if we consider, we have now an expression for a sub 1. We know that's 3. We've also got a sub 2, which is going to be 6 minus c. We've now got a sub 3, which is the 12 minus 3c. And we need now an expression for a sub 4. So if we get that, when n is equal to 3, we will have a sub 4 will be equal to 2 lots of a sub 3 minus c. So a sub 4 is going to be 2 lots now of the quantity here, which is 12 minus 3c. And then we're going to have the minus c. So we can see from here now that a sub 4 is going to be 24 minus 6c minus another c, which is going to be minus, uh, minus 7c. So if we just add this on, we've got now 24 minus 7c. So if we set this up, now we can say that 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24, which is going to give us a total now of 45. We're going to have minus c minus 3c minus another 7c, which is minus 11c, will be equal to or greater than 23. So just rearranging now, subtracting 23 from both sides of the inequality and adding 11c to both sides, we're going to have 22 is equal to or greater than 11c. Dividing both sides of the inequality by 11, we can see that 2 will be equal or greater than c. So that gives us our final answer now, and the, set, the third part of the question carries 4 marks.